just checked her and she was tight. <laughs> This is exciting. Well, I was just something I was thinking about. Here's the thing. When you think sometimes it doesn't matter if you're shining your light, or maybe you, you know, there's a lot of people in this world that feel really lonely. And sometimes I can feel like that. But you never know who you're affecting around you. You may think no one's listening to your message, or no one sees your light, or or there's no reason for you to even shine, but there is. Somebody's always watching. You may even be a mom and you think your kids are just haywire and just gone astray and they don't listen to you. But people are always listening. Your kids are always listening and watching and looking. And maybe it doesn't seem like they're picking up what you're laying down now, but you're planting a seed and maybe they'll, they'll pick it up later, you know? But that's not what I was going to tell you about. I was just in the Asian market, and I was going to get some mung beans because I'm going to do some sprouts. And you can buy mung beans so cheap in the Asian market. I'm always in there because they have great produce, and they have um, great daikon radish, which if you've not seen my daikon radish rice, bam, video, I will try to link it below. Don't y'all like when I say I'm going to link it below and I don't, but sometimes I actually do that, and that is impressive, right? Because this is pre-recorded. I don't know if y'all realize that, but I was doing a live chat for about 40 minutes plus a, another 30 minutes because I got cut off over on, on Tanny Raw Facebook, and it was enjoyable. You know, I can now, if I'm lonely or I just want to talk to like-minded people, I can just go over to my Facebook group. And frankly, uh, my group or my Facebook, Tanny Raw, and turn on that live chat, and y'all are there. Do you understand how brilliant that is to me? Like, how fulfilling it is to me to talk to like-minded people? And though I can't hear your voice, I can see your words, and I can see your picture. And most of you, I know who you are, and I love you for being there. But anyway, I was just in the Asia market. And there's a girl that works in there. And I've known her over time because... um. Uh, I was in their video one day, and she was about 13 at the time, and she asked Christopher, what, what's, what's your mom doing? She And uh, Christopher told her, and she was like, oh, and she asked me, and she said, you know, I, I would like to do a YouTube channel. I like to talk about positive things, and what's yours about? And I said, oh, you do? And so we got to talking, so every time I go in there, she and I, we chat, and we become quite the little pair of friends, but... um. First of all, isn't it great that here she is now, about 15, and she and I are great friends. We see eye to eye on a lot of things, and I think that's great. She's a beautiful spirit, and um, she helps her parents run that store, and she's always working or going to school. She busts her rear, and she doesn't complain. She's, she's kind of a person that has gratitude and thankfulness in her life, and you can see it in her eyes. She's very, very special. But anyway, she said... Um, I went over to the lettuce area, and she said, oh, hey, Miss Tanny, and I said, hey, how are you, and she's like, oh, school started today, I said, yeah, how, how was it, you know, and she was like, well, she went um, to the big high school this year, see, and, and I said, how was it, and she said, well, um, I, I know it'll be okay, but none of my really close friends are in my classes, and, and, um, you know, but, but I know that they will be, you know, over time and there'll be more classes. I said, and, and here's another thing. You, you're kind of like me. You don't meet a stranger. You know, you, you will really light up the room and people will gravitate to you to know you. And she said, you, you think so? I said, yeah, I know so. And she said, you know, I, I really, I've been using, um, some of the things you say in your videos when I'm working in the store. I said, you have, she said, yeah, I've been really using some of your videos and, and in my life where you're talking about setting up boundaries. And I thought, oh my gosh, this young girl is actually like listening to the words I'm saying. I wanted to cry. Like, I was so touched by that. And she said, it, it really works. I, I want to be positive. I want to, to, she said, what's that word? Cultivate that in my life. And that's what I've been doing. And she said, and you know what you were telling me about the bloating because she was going on, her and her family went on a little cruise a couple months ago. And she was like, oh, I want to get rid of this bloated tummy. She's tiny anyway. But I was, you know, giving her some tips on that. And she's like, that really works. And I was just thinking to myself how you can shine your light in every little aspect. You know, it might not seem like, 
I think people overlook the the power of that to make your life joyful. When you have something beyond yourself, when you're trying to look for good and find good, and you're trying to show kindness in a way that people will receive kindness, it's so, it brings me such joy in my life. It's such a joyful component when we have something beyond ourselves. I was just talking to my mommy about that. Um, she retired last year, and so she this is her second school year. She taught for 36 years. She taught school. And this is her second round of year that she hasn't um, been in school. And, you know, the first year she she spent catching up and all this. But um, a her friends that she has are married. Or another one that's not married has, like, a lot of family and stuff. So she's always busy. And um, we do things and all. But my mom has, has a lot more free time than she ever has. And she was saying that, you know... Sometimes she just sleeps or sometimes, and I was saying, hey, you know, a lot of times people that have passion and drive in their life, then when they don't have that because they, they did that through their work, you know, they don't have that anymore right then, they start to develop ailments and aches and, and their mind grows kind of numb. And she was like, yeah, she might start doing this child advocacy program. And my mom is a an advocate for children till the day she dies. She grew up in a very abusive situation and, um, with no parents and lived on one pot of beans all her life with two dresses and nobody made her go to school. You know, people, the even guidance counselor said, you know, you'll, you'll never make anything of yourself. And then she did, you know, overcoming. And she's a great person to be around children because there's very few positive lights in this world and it's powerful. But anyway, I just want to say that. I just want to say, you never know who's listening. And you never know who's who's grabbing hold of your light. You just never know. And isn't that worth it? Even if right now you don't think you're worth it, that you're worth being the best you can be. And what's this got to do with food? It's got a lot to do with a holistic lifestyle of health and happiness and cultivating your health by packing in good nutrients and giving your brain and body what it needs has everything to do with it. It's got everything to do with you feeling like you need to feel, you know? So anyway, I just want to say that. And I want to say I love you every dang day. Bye.